Second Lieutenant Colin Chalmers and Private James Glass were killed in action during World War I, but their names were left off the Soldiers' Memorial Avenue on Hobart's Queen's Domain because they were not listed as fallen soldiers on an honour roll. On that roll of honour, where a soldier had died, they would put a cross next to their name to represent the death. Well, we've discovered that two of those men um, who died didn't have a cross. Uh, and so, somewhat embarrassingly, we've discovered some years later that there, there are two men that need to be commemorated. The president of Friends of Soldiers Memorial Avenue, John Wadsley, tracked down relatives of the two men. And they attended the Remembrance Day event in Hobart, where trees and plaques honouring the men were unveiled. Ross McDougall travelled from Queensland to be there. We've got to continue to remember servicemen and women in Australia or around the world, um, just to, they've given us a chance to live as we have. A Tasmanian relative of Colin Chalmers, Roy Ramage, sees the recognition as significant. The recognition is very significant to the family. Um, as I say, it's very easy to forget as generations move on. But once you talk to the younger folk about what they did and how they did it, and they realise what a sacrifice it was, um, they turn up in their droves and they're all very interested. Over 100 years on from their deaths on the battlefield, Second Lieutenant Colin Chalmers and Private James Glass have their names permanently here on this Tasmanian memorial, alongside over 530 other men and women who gave their lives in service in the Great War a permanent and significant tribute at home for young lives lost abroad. Lucy Cutting, ABC News.